Hey, hello, Chris. I hope you're having a great day. I just wanted to provide a little bit of feedback on your lesson outline uh, using Screencast-O-Matic again. And I like to use this tool uh, to provide feedback on work that students actually submit through Canvas. So papers, presentations, PowerPoints, etc. Anything that they upload to Canvas. Uh, it's, it's very easy to provide feedback as I'm narrating and pointing out certain things of the work on screen as I go. Um, and as you may know with Canvas, you can provide text feedback over here in the assignment comments. You can also add some other uh, text feedback to the work itself, but I found that my students really like this, uh, this way of receiving feedback. They can hear my voice. Uh, they can tell that I'm talking to them directly, so it personalizes the, the the feedback, and it also humanizes the course to know that that there is a faculty member or somebody on the other end of the screen who is talking to them uh, specifically. So I hope you try this uh, type of feedback. Maybe it doesn't work for everyone all the time. Um, it can be a little time consuming in that uh, after I get done with Screencast-O-Matic, I have to upload it to YouTube. Generally only takes a few minutes though for, for shorter videos, uh, five minutes or so. So I've kind of worked out a workflow to where this is not, this does not take a lot of time and in fact may take a lot less time than providing the text feedback over here. As you may have noticed too in Canvas, just to point this out, there is a media comment uh, tool down here below the assignment comments. Uh, you can use your webcam, which connects directly to your webcam, or the audio from your webcam uh, will be picked up if you use this tool built into Canvas. And then it pops that, uh, that uh, webcam or audio comment directly into the, the comments area. So if you didn't want to use Screencast-O-Matic, wanted to use a built-in tool, you can do this. You can also use speech-to-text recognition. So when you enable that tool, you can start talking to uh, through your webcam or your your mic on your webcam and it'll convert your voice to text for the assignment comments so you might play with some of those tools and uh, hopefully that'll provide some quick and easy feedback for you but also uh, provide that more engaging feedback to students so <coughs> anyway enough about the tools uh, I wanted to talk about your lesson outline you've you've put, uh, put together a really good uh, framework here from which to build your demo course lesson. You have your outcome listed. Uh, you have resources um, or resource listed here, list of CCD, CCDS instruments, directions for applying access to data. I imagine that would be built into the course in some way. Maybe there is a book uh, that they'll be reading or textbook uh, that they'll be accessing. Also, as I've seen others in this course have done, kind of layering the resources too. So if you have a textbook chapter that you're having students read or faculty read, then providing a video that maybe reinforces that as well. Anytime you can add more resources or layer uh, the resources to provide that further engagement, I think it can be helpful. Um, and then under engagement, you have modules are used to chunk information. Uh, love, love to hear the chunking of information in an online course, you know, breaking up that content to where it's more uh, e easily digestible um, is, is a good, good practice, effective practice. Uh, about the data set, into logical components, it moves toward application discussion forum, which is always good to engage students uh, through conversation. And then su successful application, they're applying what they've learned in the final assessment uh, in the form of a quiz. So uh, really good, good job here. I look forward to seeing how this evolves in your demo course, how you're building these, these elements into your demo course lesson. And uh, don't, feel, uh, don't feel like you're locked into this if you want to add to it. Um, move things around. I will not be grading the demo course lesson based on what you have here. So... Uh, feel free to move or adjust as as needed. But uh, great work again. If you have any questions, please let me know. But uh, again, I look forward to seeing this in your demo course.